Hi, I'm Brian Van. And I'm Smitty. From SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on a brand new two-piece riding suit from our friends at Alpine Stars. This is the Carver two-piece. Let's start off with sizing. How tall are you, dude? Uh, 6'1". And what are you weighing today? Like in between 175 and 180. Okay. He's wearing a size 52 euro, which translates to a 42 US. And I would say overall the fit is good. I mean, this is pretty much how a two-piece suit is designed to fit. One comment that I do want to make is something that Alpine Stars has done on this suit. The jacket is longer than it used to be. They used to make the jacket short, so where if you wore the jacket without the pants, yeah, then right, you're screwed, yeah. Well, so, yeah, it looked like you had on a belly shirt or something, right? It just right. it wasn't intended to be used that way. It was only meant to be used together. With the Carver, what we've noticed is you know, when Smitty tried the jacket on initially, you could ride in it. Totally, yeah. without the pants. That's cool because that means this is going to deliver, I, I would say, overall more value right. than what you would have gotten previously. If you can give a nice 360, get down in the riding position and such, so you can see how this thing fits Smitty. This suit is going to be good for street riding, track day stuff, right? Really not a big fan of racing in a two-piece, right? But you can certainly do street riding and track days in this. As we find with most of the two-piece suits, really no perforation. That just seems to be the way that these are made. You do, however, enjoy a certain amount of airflow in this suit because all the stretch material that you see here in the arms, underarm area, right, that's gonna flow air freely. So you're gonna have a good amount of cooling in that area. The same will hold true for all the stretch material in the pants of the suit as well. If I can get you to turn around real quickly, this suit also incorporates the ventilated race hump, plus there is a little stretch panel here to base the neck. This is going to allow the air to escape in this area back here, so air that filters into the front can circulate around, come out the race hump, this panel here in the back. If you want to go ahead and scan down Josh too, you can also see all the stretch material there on the back of the legs. I like this A-Star logo too, it's kind of asymmetrical here on the race hump. The suit definitely has some cool lines in it. It's a good looking suit. If you can come back around to the front, large panels of leather used on the carver here in the high impact areas in the arm. Big panel here in the forearm, right, that's the area we're most often touched down. Got a screen printed Alpine Stars logo, large panel here in the upper arm, little energy absorbing foam stitched in there to complement the shoulder armor, a little more protection. Got some foam stitched in here. That's mainly aesthetic, but it will provide a, a little bit of protection. Got an embossed A-Stars logo here where it covers up the zipper pull. Alpine Stars screen printing on the chest, up here on the neck as well. If you come down to the knees, the logos that you see there, those are the rubberized logos that are actually stitched on. You can see the full motion panel here in the leather, and it comes complete with knee plucks. Stay tuned for part two. We're going to really break this down from the inside out and give you a good look at the car. This is a nice two-piece riding suit. One more time on sizing. Six feet, one inches tall? Yeah, six one, 175, and 180, right around there. And about what size would you say your waist is? Um, about a 33. Okay. 33, 34. 52 euro, which would translate to a 42 yes. And this is pretty much, this is a good fit from a two-piece. A two-piece was never designed to be, you know, like a race replica where you're all, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Roomy, so you can be comfortable in it, you can move in it, you can walk around in it a bit as well. Stay tuned for part two. Here we go with the all-new Alpine Stars Carver two-piece leather suit from the inside out. As always, we're going to start with the armor that comes in it. CE certified in the elbows, forearms, hard outer GP shell, energy absorbing foam on the inside. In the shoulder area, same style, hard outer GP shell, lots of energy absorbing foam, large coverage area, you can see the foam even extends beyond the GP shell, covering the side of your arm up over into the shoulder. This is the same stuff we see in their high end race suits as well, and you're getting that in the carver. They've switched up a little bit in the knee area, they're using a one piece knee and shin protector I found this enhances the level of comfort when riding in the suit. Okay, so this is a nice change. The other stuff wasn't horrible, it's just a little bit better. They're always evolving. Got a medium density outer shell, 
Lots of energy absorbing foam on the inside. Of course, CE certified, and like I said, really enhances the comfort of the suit in that particular area. The carver comes with a medium density perforated foam back pad and medium density foam chest pads from the factory. As with all the rest of the Alpine Stars technical apparel, those are easily and affordably upgraded. CE certified, bio armor, perforated, flexible, lightweight, very protective, slides right in that pocket. Bionic chest protector, hard outer GP shell, energy absorbing foam on the inside. Both of these can easily be slipped in the pockets in the top portion of this Carver two-piece suit and they really amp up the protection and this keeps it comfortable and you'll have protection that's on par with what you see in the shoulders, elbows, and knees of the suit by doing that. The race hump on the Carver two-piece is channeled for cooling and airflow. Here's the intake portion. This works in concert with the perforated leather panel on top of the race hump. Channeling on the back, drives in through a mesh panel on the back of the suit, helps to give you some intake and exhaust enhanced cooling. The liner on the Carver, both top and bottom, is removable and washable. The top portion, the jacket portion of the liner, there is a pocket that holds the shoulder armor. The elbow armor is slid into a pocket in the actual sleeve of the jacket, kind of an armor pocket. Remember, you can wash this, gentle cycle, do not put it in the dryer, just line dry it. You want to maintain the size and shape of this, and drying can impact that negatively if you throw it in your dryer. Here is the liner for the pants of the two-piece. Please note, in the hip and quad area, we've got some energy absorbing foam stitched into the liner. This really amps up the protection in that area. Just like I said with the upper liner, this is washable, right? Gentle cycle, line dry, even with that foam armor in there, you'll be just fine to do that. Back of the Carver two-piece suit. There is our perforated leather panel that tops that channel race hump. I like this asymmetrical Alpine Stars logo here, screen printed on the race hump, looks really cool. Motion panel here in the shoulder area, energy absorbing foam stitching between the multiple layers of leather outside the back protector, enhances protection. Got a motion panel here in the waist area, that's a great place to put one on a two piece to keep it comfortable, moving well on your body. Just above the race hump. We've got another motion panel. This is actually one of the stretch panels stitched in there. Come around the collar of the suit. Perf or <coughs> screen printed on Alpine Stars logo right there. Shoulder. We've got a nice embossed Alpine Stars logo. Little energy absorbing foam stitched in here. Help protect the outer arm. Note we use large pieces of leather here in the upper arm and especially in the forearm area. This creates a strong protective suit. If you use a lot of small panels in here, this is a high impact area, sometimes that can work against you in terms of protection. Big panels are a big plus. Printed on Alpine Stars logo, locking Alpine Star zipper here. The stretch panel that you see on the inside of the arm, the chest, and the underarm does a few different things. One, it enhances the comfort and movement of the suit, allows you to move around and be comfortable. Two, it introduces airflow to the suit. This stuff flows air freely. Even though you don't see a lot of perforation on this Carver two-piece, it's gonna move some air between that race hump and all the stretch material that you see. Printed on Alpine Star logo all the way across the chest of the top part of the suit. Zippered storage pocket here. Left side, there's a mirror image of course on the right side. Got some energy absorbing foam stitched in here between the multiple layers of leather. Zipper internal storage pocket. This is a great place for your license, stuff like that, right? If you're street riding, here's a look at the inside of the jacket with the liner removed. Please note, this also includes the snap attachment for the Alpine Stars CE certified back protectors. That would be used if you choose not to install the armor upgrade in the pocket on the jacket. Myself, I really like what they've done with the armor upgrades the last couple of years. I think if I was going with the carver, I would go with the chest protectors and add on the bio armor in the pocket of the jacket in lieu of using this. Two-piece suit gives you a full circumference. 
zip to pant. I show you that right here. Right here, all the way around the base of the jacket. Quick peek at the right side of the jacket, mirror image of the left, essentially. Let's move on now to the pants. Heavy duty closure system, obviously zippered in the crotch. We've got a metal snap, but most importantly, this clasp right here, right? It backs up the snap, is really heavy duty. Big elastic waistband. Full circumference zip pants to jacket connection. Large leather stretch panel, screen printed Alpine Star logo here around the waist. Tailbone pad stitched in the back of the pants. Screen printed A Star logo here in the thigh. Nice motion panel on the knee. Rubberized A Star logo here above the knee. This includes the knee sliders that you see here. In the knee area, not only do you enjoy the CE certified knee protector, but there is also a measure of energy absorbing foam stitched in that goes between the knee protector and the external leather panel on the suit. They've trimmed up the very bottom part of the suit with some mesh. It keeps it more comfortable when the boots go over the bottom of the suit because this stuff pleats up easier than the leather would. Stretch paneling. Tons of stretch paneling. Keeps it comfortable, allows it to move well on your body, and remember, it flows air freely, okay? I'll say one more time, just because you don't see a ton of perforation on this doesn't mean it's going to be unrideably hot, because this thing's going to move a lot of air. With all, look at the stretch paneling here in the crotch, all the way down the back of the legs. You blend that with what you see in the upper portion of the suit. It's going to allow you to use this when it's hot out and when it's cool out. All in all, what do we think of the Carver two-piece? If you're looking for a two-piece riding suit solution, this sells at a very affordable price point. The armor upgrades are a big draw as well. It's affordable to do that, amps up the level of protection. We think this is a great piece. We're excited to offer it for 2012 and beyond. I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTrackGear.com.